Right, uh, well, thank you for sort of inviting me here today. This is my first ever event, so uh, we'll see how we get on. We might all go a little bit uh, upside down. Our time will be slightly out, but today I'm going to tell you all about skin cell signaling, and it's all about balance and communication, and um, it is what will turn the skin on and make it behave better, which you might think what I'm next to talk about, how, why, why should we be bothered, um, but hopefully the 20 slides that I put together will give you some information and hopefully it won't be too boring because it's not going to be able to have a presentation I'm afraid. Right, like I said, <laughs> skin cell signaling, at times all our harmony can go slightly upside down and it causes all sorts of problems when our cells don't behave how they should and it can really leave you feeling a little bit prickly. And it's not surprising there's so many skin cells and cells in our body that sometimes they get a little bit lost or uh, unsure of how to behave. Um, and so, I've got myself all completely lost lately. Like, um, we've all got an ability to turn our skin cells off, on. And we can actually tell them how to behave in a really good, normal, natural way. So instead of making you feel really miserable and unhappy, if it goes wrong, you can actually make yourself feel good. Every skin cell has a little receptor, which is like a little antenna, to the outside world. And that will send signals down to the effectors that send all the information to your nerve cells. I like to think of it quite mechanically. So there's a switch, there's a motor that tells the gears and everything how to work, and then that will send it through to a gauge where you can determine how things are working. So, every day we bombard ourselves with all sorts of environmental issues and our skin basically takes it all in, whatever information we give it, and sends it down to our nervous system. Now, it will treat good information and bad information exactly the same way. So, if you give it good life affirming information, it will react, but also you can give it bad information and it will react just as equally with that. Now new research has shown us that we can actually stimulate our skin cell receptors and actually turn the cells on so that they are doing as they're being told. Now if you can imagine all our cells, it's probably more complicated than any worldwide communication system, but each cell is actually sharing and accepting information all the time. So when you're telling it how to behave, you're going to be good, you're going to behave like you should do. But also, we've got to block all the bad signals. And we do that by uh, blocking the pathways, which it's a bit like if you go back to your telephone system. If the phone's always engaged, nothing can get through. Now it might seem strange, but the actual ancients knew all about this, um, even though they haven't got our technology that we have nowadays. And it is reported that Cleopatra and Nefertiti all knew about only the oils that are really good for your skin. And we need these oils, we all know we should take a bit only the oil every day, but we can actually use it on the skin as well. But it needs to come from animal only again and not vegetable. Because animal only will penetrate deeper into your skin and get right down to the, the parts that need the collagen. So it'll keep your skin nice and springy and firm, rather than going all saggy. So it doesn't matter how old you are, we've all got skin, we need to make it last for all our life. And while we're looking after it and it's behaving healthy, then we always feel, have a feeling of well-being and feel quite um, happy. Most of us in the room will probably have one of these conditions at some stage in our life. Uh, we might need one of that. But <laughs> There's only reason to keep your skin feeling healthy and well-being. So basically, it's all just about turning your skin cells on, keeping yourself harmonised, um, and it's all down to oil, basically, keeping your skin nice and healthy. So um, I just want to thank you. I'm sort of glad my family is <laughs> okay. And I hope I haven't bored you too much. But, um, thank you very much for having me.